Now, how is that I will design an MNP approach for a person coming into a, a clinical setup? So for example, if a person is walking into a hospital, uh, so he will be undergoing an initial a nutrition workup and assessment. So in a hospital, what we do is we basically screen the patient, which is called as nutritional screening. Each hospital will be following different nutrition screening methods, but in common, we'll be looking at the person's history and the current intake levels, and also a short dietary assessment will be done. If it's going to be an individualized uh, assessment, for example, a, a person walks into um, a clinic setup where he has good amount of time uh, to be spent along with the nutritionist, we do a detailed nutritional assessment. So in the nutritional, uh, detailed nutritional assessment, we'll have even more uh, history, uh, a lot of history collection, as well as we'll also have the current uh, status, dietary status of the patient being assessed. Now, again, uh, when we do a nutritional screening in a hospital, if the patient is under the risk category, then we go on for a detailed nutrition assessment. If he's not in the risk category, we just do the initial screening and we give him the major important uh, guidelines to be followed throughout the stay of the uh, stay in the hospital. So this is how the initial nutrition workup and assessment works. Now, when we talk about the diagnostic, uh, diagnostic criteria here, we don't diagnose any condition as a nutritionist from a nutritionist point of view. We just do the nutritional diagnosis. When I talk about nutritional diagnosis as such, it can be like uh, first understanding what is his blood glucose level, whether he is in a hyperglycemic state, does he have hypos, uh, does he have a proper appetite, does he has a normal GI symptoms. So all these will be certain things that will be used to diagnose what his nutrition needs would be. And diagnosing the nutritional needs will lead us for initiating the medical nutrition therapy. So when we talk about initiating medical nutrition therapy, it includes planning a diet for him, understanding his cultural factors for uh, planning the diet, do, doing regular uh, monthly visits, individualized meal plans, uh, meal replacements if needed. All this will be in the initial state and then will be your follow-up state. So when we talk about the follow-up steps, uh, we'll first always uh, make them understand that follow-ups are really necessary. So I think most of the practitioners, nutritionists, and other medical professions will uh, accept the fact that follow-ups are very important rather than the initial assessment itself, because just assessing a patient and giving a prescription doesn't really work. They have to come back. They have to get the medications uh, reworked. They have to get the plans reworked. Only then will they achieve the targets that we had set for them.